So let's try and do this exercise, um, an exercise on the atom. They are, these, these numbers are coming from, you know, examination style, you know, past paper questions. That's why you're seeing things like 1991 question 18, 1990 question 7. These are questions adopted from past paper questions. So let's get started. So we have this symbol X, number 1, um, 120, 80 on top, like that. Is a symbol of a nucleide whose, new whose number of neutrons is. So what's the number of neutrons in this one? So let's try and find out. Okay, so we have um, um, one to, uh, first of all, this is 120, this is 80, this is X. This is the atomic number, and we say the atomic number is the same as number of protons, so we have the number of protons there. But then they want us to find the number of neutrons. But up here, we have the mass number, and we know that the mass number is the same as number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So we can come here and say that mass number is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons. But we now have the mass number is 120 is going to be equal to the number of protons, which is 80, plus the number of neutrons. So let's go ahead and make n the subject of the formula. When we make n the subject of the formula, we shall come here and say it's 120 minus 80 and when we do that we shall end up with 40. So the number of neutrons is 40 and that's the answer to that. Let's get to num number two. Uh -huh. Question two. The table below shows the number of the respective particles constituting atoms of elements P, Q, R and S. Okay so those are P, Q, R, S. So these atoms P, Q, R, S have the number of neutrons, protons and electrons listed. What are the isotopes? Now, first of all, what's the definition of an isotope? Remember, we say that an isotope, they have the same atomic number. Remember, the num atomic number means that they have the same number of protons. Because the atomic number and the number of protons is the same. So they have the same number of protons, but different mass numbers. And of course, different mass numbers means they have different number of neutrons. So let's look for which two items here have the same atomic number or the same number of protons. If you look here, it is this one, same number of protons. So it is uh, these two, and then definitely they have even different number of neutrons. Okay, so that means that um, it's P and Q, the answer is A. Number three, looks similar. Huh, okay. The copper atom here they're talking about is this has, so it is 63 up here. We have 63, we have 29, and this is copper. So 29 means that this is atomic number. And you know that atomic number is the same as the number of protons. Okay, so it has 29 protons. So uh, we are sure about that. So we come here, where do we have 29 protons? Of course we have 29 protons here and here. So meaning that the answer is one of those two. So now let's go ahead and investigate the number of neutrons. So the number of neutrons, remember this top number here is the mass number. And you know mass number is the same, uh, the mass number, in other words, mass, number, uh, we know the mass number to be the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So we know that uh, the mass number here is 63 is equal to the number of protons, which we got as 29, plus the number of neutrons. So what's the number of neutrons? Our value of n is going to be gotten by getting 63 minus 29, and the answer we have here is 34. So being 34, so meaning it's 29, uh, we have 34. So this is 29, 34 neutrons. Now, this is, uh, remember, uh, so meaning that the, this is on, uh, okay, yeah, the answer is A, okay? However, there's something that I would like to just put to your attention. Do you notice that these have the same number of protons? 
and this and that have the same number of electrons the protons here and the electrons are the same but here the protons and the electrons are not the same now what is happening here when the number of protons and electrons are the same it means that that atom is electrically neutral in other words the number of negatives is the same as the number of positives however if it was such that it, if the condition satisfied is in such a way that the number of protons and electrons are not the same for example here we are seeing that this is 34 these are 34 negatives and these ones are you know are 29 positives so from here you are able to see 29 there are excess negatives this only happens when you're dealing with what we call an ion and well we'll deal with that in future not now so the answer is a number four if x is an isotope of y then the atomic mass of x is equal to that of y okay if X is an isotope of Y, of course we know the definition of isotopes, but they have the same mass number, same atomic number, different mass number. So let's look at part A. Part A says the atomic mass um, of X is equal to that of Y. No, that's not correct because they are supposed to be having different mass numbers. Then part B, the atomic mass is equal to the atomic number of Y. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't make sense. Atomic number of X is equal to that of Y. So if they are uh, if they are isotopes, it means their atomic numbers are the same. So when they say atomic number of X is equal to the atomic number of Y, then C is correct. Maybe let's look at part the atomic number of X is equal to the atomic mass of Y. No. The answer is C, that for two numbers to be considered isotopes, they have the same atomic number, meaning atomic number in this meaning they are the same parent, same smile, same thing, but different mass numbers, meaning they are different, you know, their nuclei weight are different. So we have another one here. Isotopes are nucleides with the same number of of course, isotopes are nucleides. And remember, when we're talking about nucleides, we're talking about protons plus neutrons because these ones are the two that are in the nucleus and these ones make up what we call the mass number or call it the nucleon number. So when they say isotopes are nucleides with the same number of, okay, protons but different number of electrons. Now, remember, Atom, uh, when we're talking about at, uh, number of protons, the number of protons is the same as the uh, at, um, atomic number. Remember that. Atomic number is the same as the number of protons. So it means that if we're talking about uh, isotopes, it means they have the same atomic number or call it the same number of protons, but different mass numbers or different number of n neut neutrons okay isotopes have the same number of protons but different number of neutrons let's see any of these so you have protons they have the same number of protons correct but different number of electrons no they have protons the same number of protons but different number of neutrons this is correct let's look at the others before we circle they have the same neutrons no they, they do not have the same neutrons they have the same electrons yes but the same number of protons nope yeah oh wait they have the same electrons yes but the same number of protons this is correct because yeah it is true that um, uh, if that is in, in 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 case if the isotopes are electrically neutral it means the number of electrons and the number of protons are the same okay but this does not define isotopes isotopes is this one same number of protons but different number of neutrons the answer is b so here find the isotopes of course the isotopes have the same number of protons but different number of neutrons so the answer is p and q
the answer is A. Moving on to the next, an atom contains three electrons, three protons, and four neutrons. What's its nuclear number? This is the, the thing they're talking about. It has three electrons, so meaning that the electrons here are three, one, two, three. There are three electrons. Then it has three protons. We have three protons and four neutrons. We have four neutrons. What is its nucleon number? Nucleon number is same as mass number, and those that is we add up what is at the center. So nucleon number is three plus four, which is seven. So the answer is D. And here in, in nickel, nuclide contains. Okay, same thing here. Twenty eight already. Uh, it has the thing is like this. Nickel. We have 28, we have 60. So we have, to, it has 28, this is the atomic number, so meaning the number of protons is 28. Okay, so let's look at where it's having 28 as protons. So um, it's either this, this one or that one, because it has 28 protons and 28 protons. So now let's look at the number of neutrons. The number of neutrons we are going to get, you know, it's going to be 60 minus 28 I think you know where I get the 60 minus 28 from which is going to be 32 so the number of neutrons is 32 and that is here so the answer is C